I have always been a fan of anime MMORPGs. I grew up on Tales of Pirates or Pirate King Online. That was my very first introduction into the MMO genre. Then I went ahead and moved on to other games like Flife, then Fiesta, then Florentia. Yeah, admittedly, a lot of MMOs that all started with F. I never dedicated a whole lot of time to any of Area Games' or rather X Legends anime MMOs. Yes, I did enjoy Eden Eternal, but Grand Fantasia, Dragomon Hunter, Twin Saga, even Aura Kingdom never really appealed to me. Not because any of them were inherently bad games, but just because I'd found other anime games that I was already playing, or games that I had played turned out to be better. Maybe it was, I don't know, nostalgia? Maybe it was due to the fact that I'd went ahead and played the exact same game earlier just with a different skin. But regardless, here we are right now taking a look at Aura Kingdom in 2020 or 2020, nearly 2021 rather. Upon first inspection, Aura Kingdom is a pretty good looking anime MMO. Aesthetically, the world is large, it is colorful, vibrant, full of life. This is honestly something that I miss in MMOs I see these days. Everyone tries so heavily to emulate the few popular MMOs that they've given up on crafting beautiful worlds like this. I I was surprised when beginning the game that there were a grand total of 17 unique playable classes. Character creation was about what you'd expect out of an anime MMO. You had a few different face types, hairstyles, hair colors, and eye colors to choose from. There's no body customization, there's no real control over facial features, but that's alright. There are plenty of outfits available in game that provide you many an opportunity to customize your avatar's appearance. I mean seriously, just take a moment here and look at how good my character ended up looking. Not just here, but also here and here. I mean, there are a lot of different outfits that we were sent over the course of our stream. So, you know, like, thank you guys for that. Then you're greeted with an introductory tutorial to the game. I feel as though this is entirely unnecessary as not only is Aura Kingdom incredibly basic, but it's also simultaneously an MMO. And let's be real here, most MMO function more or less the same way. And the rest is history. Aura Kingdom is an MMO. After logging in, you begin journeying across a large world filled with NPCs that need assisting, monsters that need murdering, and dungeons that need plundering. The game features a tab target combat system. It's nothing special really. It doesn't compare to a tab target combat system like Arc Age or Ion or even World of Warcraft, but at the same time, it feels smooth enough to enjoy without issue. The game functions much as every other MMO does. There are quest hubs that you take quests from, you make progress through, and you ultimately move on to the next zone appropriate to your level. There are dungeons and raids present in game, but unfortunately, since we only really made it to level 20, something level 30, we didn't get to experience any of the latter. The former though, totally. We did solo instances, and then we ran into an issue where we required three people to participate. So one of our friends, Paper Cat, logged in to go ahead and help us here, and ultimately carried us through this group instance. So shout out to Paper Cat for the help. Now, I would not call this a dungeon necessarily, as it did lack what would normally be considered traditional dungeon mechanics, but it felt like the end of one with a large boss battle, or rather multiple consecutive boss battles. Speaking of, we actually had the pleasure of playing not only with, but also around some of you, which was quite a lot of fun for us. Getting to group up together with the community that we have built together was a really amazing experience for us. Seeing so many of you guys in a game this old, seeing so many of you in these grandiose outfits maxed out in level, ready and willing to help us with whatever we needed was so cool. Speaking of the combat and grouping up with players though, one thing I found issue with was that the majority of our quests only counted kills or drops by participation. Meaning that, as an example here, if I went ahead and killed a monster, Mrs. Sticks would not get any credit for that monster kill at all. I'm not sure if this was merely a bug that we were having or we had our settings set up incorrectly, but if that's how Aura Kingdom functions in terms of participating in group content, then uh, yeah, that's a no-go for me. Aura Kingdom has some features that definitely make it stand out though. You have an Eidolon that in essence acts as an additional member of your party. There's a type of gliding, allowing you to cover large distances faster than even your mount can move. It has some incredibly detailed mounts, some very appealing outfits, and overall is about as fun as any anime MMO can be to explore. I'm not fond of how pay to win the costumes are though, as they do provide beneficial statistics like plus damage or plus HP or plus crit. That's just to name a few of the ones that I personally experienced. There are more, and you will note that this is detrimental to winning against other players in PvP or even competitively raiding. But other than that, we found 
entire journey through the level one through level 20 something zones to be kind of peaceful. It was a very traditional kind of older MMO experience. And this is something that Mrs. Six has never really experienced before. She's only played maybe seven, maybe eight total MMOs and none of them have been like this. So this was good for both of us. Now, would I personally play Aura Kingdom long-term? Probably not. Would I recommend it to other people though? Like, do I think that this is worth playing or worth starting? If you or if they are interested in older, more traditional anime MMOs, then yeah, totally, I would. We did have some fun in it after all. With that being said and done though, here are some highlights from our journey through the game. Mr. That Sick. is a lot of classes though, look at that. Yeah, I know. Like, guys, when was the last time you played a game that had this many classes? And it's not gender locked. I went ahead and looked. Wait, so there's the, the melee guardian, the melee ravager, the melee duelist, ranged gunslinger, ranged grenadier, grenade, yeah, magic bard, which you're going, you said. Yep. The wizard, the sorcerer. I, I, I don't know what the difference between a wizard and a sorcerer is, but. The Brawler, the Ranger, I think, didn't we already go past Ranger? The Ronin, I know I know. if some of you guys played it, you would choose Ronin, guaranteed. The Reaper, she looks way too adorable to be a Reaper though. The Holy Sword, the Shinobi, Lancer, uh, the, gu the, gu the Guitar? The thought, class name is Guitar? I thought that looked really cool. It reminded me of Soul Worker. And sh the, the class is actually a golden icon, but she's called Guitar. And finally, the Star Caller. Oh my god, I can have a unicorn! Yes! A unicorn, I love this one. Oh damn. Is there any way to skip the tutorial? Because I, I have a general understanding of how to play games. I know you guys are gonna go in to say otherwise. Okay, I so just, I do just you guys see that special attack? Watch this. Oh. How cool is that, right? The character models, the hair for the character models actually uh, remain, they actually change slightly when putting a hat on which is really cool that they actually took the time to make sure the hat fits properly with the hairstyle that you have. Wait, where are you at? I can't do, I'm right beside you. I'm literally right here. <laughs> is this you? Are you a silver haired man? Yes. Go ahead and send me a friend's request. Look at your stupid hat. <laughs> what? Where are you? I'm literally right beside Where? you! Oh my god, how do you not see me? I'm not on your screen! How come you're on my screen? I don't know! What the hell? Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, can you zoom into like- Are that... you looking at her teeth again? I just- How are they moving in their own like space? Completely- over the pants. Wow. Look at the guys. She Look looks like hair. a 12 year old. She do. Ooh. That's some beautiful armor. Can I climb? Oh, wow. You can like fly pretty much when you jump. Oh. You can? Dude, there's a guy riding an ostrich. Whoa. You're right. Holy, what? 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 <laughs> babe, babe, come back up here. Come back up here for a second. Okay, I'm coming. A little. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Okay, I'm right here. Okay, jump. Uh, wait, what happened? We. Wait. We. Oh, oh, there we go. Come over this side of it. Okay. Just hit spacebar just once. Wait, now it's not working. What happened? Oh, what's this? A journal. <laughs> I got a box lunch. Stereotypical uh, lumberjack here. Except for his... Oh! Oh, I thought that was a weapon. I'm like, that is a really long, glowy weapon. But apparently <laughs> that's just... That's your connection to him, babe. <laughs> it's longer than I thought. 
Holy God! <laughs> what? The what? <laughs> Look at this guy! What? Oh, oh go. my God! He's so cute! Oh! Are you over here so you can participate in this? I'm coming. I'm a little slow. Give me a second. When do I get my? Uh... He's running away. He's dying. He's almost dead. <laughs> The guy's almost dead. No, I want to pull aggro so we I don't have to reset him. it. I hit him. No. Uh. Uh oh, wait. Aw, oh, man. You, you just suck keeps as running a tank, around bro. in a circle. Who? Who was sucking? The guy that was tanking it. Those are some uh, animated assets in game. So, like, oh, oh, I gotta go over to a lumberjack. Are you, are you for real? So here, here's an unconscious lumberjack. We gotta walk over to the unconscious lumberjack and smack him. We gotta knock him conscious <laughs> with it. He's what dead you? after that. Wait, I'm almost dead. Oh no. Oh no, this is horrible. Oh, that was, that was, that Did was very close. Did you move out of the AOE or yeah, no? Yeah, I know, I, I know not to stand in AOEs. Do you? I like someone. <laughs> well, you know, the most important thing here to to take away from this is that there is in fact swimming. And Not only fishing. is there swimming, but the map, as you can see here, has this giant uh, watery area that, A, you can swim it. Actually, okay, this is... You can't actually land here, so it's kind of disappointing. The land masses are are unable to be interacted with. Uh, okay, hold on. I don't know how to dismount, so I'm just gonna kill this real quick so you can get a, a look at what. Is there that a guy is. with a paper bag over his head? Yes, there is. <laughs> yes, make that one the thumbnail. <laughs> Please, come on. <laughs> She's looking right at me. Her eyes are following me. Paper bag? <gasps> Wait. Oh my god, that's right. Paper bag, there's an imposter here. Like seriously, look at this. What is going on here? There is an imposter. They, they're oh blushing. God. They're blushing. Like they have what? the little kawaii blush thing on Where their face. Where are you? Uh, well, this is an awkward swimming animation. It's, uh, it's a new talent, I guess. Whoa! Check out this mount babe that I got. Ooh. Yeah. It's so pretty. The movement speed of the mounts are quite varied, I see. Being flattery. Wow. That is so cute. Okay, I want Okay. You look adorable. So earlier I mentioned that the the shirt and the hat did not give stats. Apparently, that is untrue because the gear, all of the gear, seems to be capable of providing beneficial stats to your character. Wow. Am I supposed to be holding like a weapon? Cause I run like I should be, look. You are. But or I'm maybe not like you're about to like leap into like a ballet dance move. <laughs> like, huh? Oh. Someday soon I'm gonna make it. Yeah. Gonna be worth it